Hi. Um, I hope you're doing well. I want to talk about spiritual warfare because it is a very real thing. Um, and it's been what I've been going through this whole day today. Not fun. Um, I just got back from camp uh, last night very late and it was a Christian camp so there was altar time like that's just one on one time with God and I was around really fun amazing friends and it was a really great experience and I had a lot of people pray over me and I felt God's presence and they prayed very specifically for little things in my life that I had never told anyone but God was speaking through them which is really beautiful um and I'm home now and today has not been easy at all at all and I think it's a mixture of me being really tired but also just the enemy, the devil. What happens when you get close to God and you have really strong encounters with Jesus and Holy Spirit and you get a lot of joy and confirmation from God, the enemy hates that. So he will do anything in his power to steer you away from God and mess with your mind and break you down and fill you with lies and distract you and give you doubt and fill your head with vile, untruthful things to take you away from God and his promises for your life and just his mercy. Um, because he hates us. He hates me. He hates how I'm following God's will for my life. <laughs> so he is going to do anything in his power to bring my thoughts to negative, anxious, um, you know, give me anxious thoughts or give me a little, a little pop of like a different direction my life could go in and then my mind because, you know, I have struggled with anxiety in the past. It gets heightened and I'm like, holy moly, like, uh, just like it keeps going and going and going until I break down, which is what has happened a few times today. Um, because the enemy hates how I'm following God. He hates my devotion to Jesus. He, he hates my perseverance and patience with God in this season of my life. He hates it. So he is doing everything in his power. There's so much spiritual warfare going on in the spiritual realm around us on earth that we do not see. I feel it, I'm sure you've felt it before. If you're watching this video and you're just like, whoa, that's me, you felt it. Spiritual warfare is very real. Um, and that's just my situation, that's just my life and I'm sure it's different for you. Um, you know, or maybe it's kind of the same, but Regardless, the enemy will come to steal. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He has no love for you, no compassion. So if you've felt called from God, but now you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. That's not God. That's the enemy. Keep your eyes on God. Really please dwell in his presence. Spend time with the Lord. You know, whether it's in worship or just talking to him or whether it's getting angry with God and breaking down to him and telling him what you need because you can't do it anymore. That's okay. Just please turn to God and not this world, not your phone, not other people because nobody will tell you the truth except for Jesus. Nobody. 
Nobody will fully give you your answers except for God. So please turn to him. Please turn to Jesus. The enemy is real. And there's evil spirits all around us, all around this world. So we need to be covered from the top of their head to the tips of our toes, the blood of Jesus, the protection of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Putting on the armor of God every day, every morning is so important. You know, asking God to guard our thoughts and our hearts and praying and continuously choosing to spend time with the Lord and continuously repenting of our sins and Giving God our lives, making sure that we're following his path for our life are very important steps to just really help with the lies of the enemy and the spiritual warfare that is happening very prevalently in each of our lives. Because it's real. And it's horrible. <laughs> it's not fun. That's why we need Jesus right here with us to help us and hold us carry us in his arms you know leave the 99 and carry this little lamb on his shoulders rejoicing that we're back with him rejoicing that he's found the lost sheep that's me and that's you he will leave the other devoted Christian children of him that he has to find the lost sheep, to find the broken sheep, the hurting sheep, the shattered sheep, the one who is strayed away, the one who lost their ways, who doesn't recognize themselves. He will find that sheep. He will come back for you if you would just ask. Turn your face to God. I promise you he will come running with great endurance to come find you and love on you and carry you home. You're never too far for, too far gone for God. He loves you. So please turn to God. Prayer is very important as well. Pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask Holy Spirit to come into your heart. Be still. Trust in God. Love on him. Keep your eyes on God. Not this world. Not the blessings. Not the promises. Not the, the idols. The fears. The anxiety. The weight. The burdens. Our eyes should be on God. Nothing else. Nothing else but God. God is so tender and merciful, and he loves you very deeply. He's so gracious. So please, if this is you, you know this is for you. If you feel it in your spirit, in your heart, or you don't even know what it is, but you're just like, you feel overwhelmed and you know that's you, I just want to say that you're not alone. God sees you. And he is here for you. I believe if you ask, then he'll be there with you right now. He is there with you right now. Right where you are, whether it's in your room or outside on a bike ride, or whether it's on your way to work, coming back from work in the car, at work, at the gym, at the park, with your mom or friends. I don't know when you're watching this, but just know you're not alone. Holy Spirit is there. He is with you right now. Turn your face towards God. Ask for forgiveness of your sins. Ask Holy Spirit to come on you. Talk to Jesus. It doesn't have to be this big thing. Just simply a conversation with our Lord and Savior, Jesus. He loves you. He's here with you. Spend time with him, please. It's going to be okay. One step in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. One day at a time. 
one deep breath at a time. Another one. Repent of your sins. Turn towards Jesus. Full of forgiveness and love. He's your heavenly father, and you're his child. Turn to God. He loves you. And you're not alone. You've never been alone, you never will be alone. Spiritual warfare is real. But with God, nothing is impossible. He will heal you, so please just turn towards God for your help and healing. And he'll be right there with you to fight your battles, give you the strength to endure and to persevere. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I love you. And we're in this together, you're not alone. But it's you and God. It's you and God, no one else, nothing else but you and God. It truly matters. <laughs>